Hello and welcome to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Stellar Lumens could reach between eight and ten dollars in its next cycle. So this is going to be a very awesome video. Make sure that you hit that like button for me right now and the subscribe button with the notification bell because I am dedicated to uploading five videos a week all through 2020. My voice is a little bit lower right now because I've had a little bit of a cold and a scratchy voice. So my apologies for that, but no problem. We're just going to go ahead and make the video today as usual and talk about the Elliott Wave structure behind Stellar Lumens. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So make sure you comment down below where you're tuning in from in this beautiful world. And we are looking at the Stellar chart versus the dollar. And as you guys can see, Stellar Lumens has created its first one, two wave over here. You can actually see that pretty quickly. The, over here down in the very bottom left of the market was the one in the two wave in Stellar Lumens. And then after that, I would suspect that this is a one, two, three, four, five. So this is all going to be a three wave in the market. And then this is going to be a four wave down here. And after we made this big falling wedge pattern between the three and the four, I expect us to see some type of fifth wave up to between eight and ten dollars. Now, obviously, it's going to um, if it plays out, we'll break out of this wedge and then we're likely to see some type of corrective pattern. Um, because there's going to be a correction every time you break out of a large wedge like this. And so if you see Stellar Lumen start to really pick up and then drop off, that could actually be um, the one or in the two wave of the next Elliott cycle on the way up. And so this right here, three waves are very typically the biggest volume in the entire wave. And we do have the most volume in the three wave with Stellar lumens and we also have this very very nice falling wedge pattern with uh, at least seven points i believe one two three four five six seven eight almost nine times it's actually eight or nine times it's touched the resistance and the support inside of this wedge so it's a very strong pattern and also you guys stellar lumens is very very oversold from its peak this is actually um, a 95% drop from its peak and that is right around the range where something is uh, finding its support in its previous cycle and you can see that there was a lot of support right here in the market that we're bouncing off of right now and would be a great spot for us to make an Elliott fifth wave. So I hope you guys appreciate the analysis on Stellar Lumens. The volume profile is also very bullish with rising volume, falling volume, falling price. And so as, if we can get some, some volume spikes coming in on that one in that two wave, that would be very nice as well. So make sure that you guys hit that like button for me today. I Like I said, I was a little bit sick, uh, so it's going to be a bit shorter of a video. But either way, Stellar Lumens is looking very good and could easily reach 8 to $10 in its next cycle. And I'll keep you guys updated and posted on the markets as they continue to develop market cycles and structure. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. As always, stay profitable out there.